Hello everyone, John here. Welcome to IT Skills Academy. In this video, I showcase a pharmacy management system. I'm currently on the login and here I'm supposed to provide my username and the password. So the password and the username is pharmacist. So I just input them there and then I hit on login. So before I get into the system, I'm supposed to do a pharmacy setup where I'm supposed to give in the pharmacy name, address, phone number, email. So I just input them here. Then after that, I just hit continue. The next thing I'm supposed to do is uh, to input all the account information in regards to the pharmacy. And I'm supposed to put the pharmacy opening date pharmacy closing date and the opening balance then after that I just hit on continue now this takes me to the dashboard and as you might have noticed we have the name of the pharmacy as we have um, inputted so that is the sample name then we also have the pharmacy year starting from 1st of June 2021 to 1st of June 2022 then we also have the opening balance appearing here so the reason as to why it is not the 500,000 as I have um, found is because it is minus the account payable so this is uh, the amount that the pharmacy owes uh, the uh, suppliers or the vendors which was there by default so um, we have the medicine sales so this is where all the medicine sales will be uh, appearing then we have the medicine list so this is the number of um, drugs that are in the pharmacy uh, expired drugs all the expired drugs in the pharmacy then we have the items uh, list so these are the items that are available in the pharmacy uh, but uh, they are not drugs uh, but they are used in the pharmacies uh, then we also have the transaction today so this will be showing all the transactions that will happen in a given day then down here we have the patients are waiting so this is where all the patients who have not been attended will be appearing uh, on this other end here we have the add patient so this is uh, where a person can click to add the patient now on the left here we have of course uh, the pharmacist so this is uh, the username uh, the pharmacy name and the address we also have a button here to top up uh, the pharmacy so um we will start from medicine list so this is where you'll add all the possible medicine or drugs that are used in the pharmacy and as you can see we have uh, a sample of some so to add uh, the um, possible medicine that will be uh, sold in the pharmacy you just come and click add the medicine and here you're supposed to put the medicine name the medicine type the capacity and whether the medicine is sold as a dose or not so I just fill in this form then after that I just hit on submit and I'm requested to input the price of that drug so then after that I just hit submit so I can just come here and see if the medicine was added and as you can see it is appearing as number 12 so once the medicine is added uh, we are going to trace it in the store so we head on to the store and it is now from the store that we will be able to order this uh, drug so on top here we hit receive medicine Then you come and select the medicine uh, or the drug that you want to buy or stock and we can also be able to come and search it on top here so just come and hit on receive and then on top here i have to select uh, the supplier 
then the medicine is sample medicine name the expiry date is there of course uh, this is um, current uh, time stop so uh, we have to change this to correspond the expiry date of the drug the available quantity current is zero so we now need to come and put the quantity that we are buying so let's say it's 100 and the buying price is 50 the selling price is also 50 so we need to change this maybe to 60 bob and this will tell me that we're going to have a profit of 10 bob so after that i receive the medicine which will now be stocked and that now will mean that if i get to the dashboard you're going to have the account payable increase so in that case we have already created an invoice for that specific uh, transaction if i head on to invoices i should be able to see that specific invoice with a specific invoice number the medicine that was bought and the price and the status that is if it is paid or not so i can be able to pay that specific invoice so i can just come and hit on pay and here it will automatically have um, the quantity bought the price and the total that i'm supposed to pay the date on which the payment was done then i hit on pay so now if i head on back to the dashboard i should now get that the account payable uh, is uh, minus that uh, invoice that i have already paid so now we head on to the pharmacy stock so this is um, the drugs that are in the shelves so currently uh, our sample medicine is not stocked in the pharmacy shelves so we need to do that so we can again still add the pharmacy stock head on to requisition and here we can come and select uh, that specific medicine that we want to stock in the pharmacy shelves so this is the name of the medicine and the expiry date so here we just come and put the amount that we want to stock and hit add to pharmacy so now you will find that the sample medicine name is stocked in the pharmacy and um, we have a quantity of 50 that is worth 2500 now that is a process of stocking our store um, and also the pharmacy stock and also uh, buying the uh, drugs or medicine from suppliers before we continue to the sales you can also be able to add suppliers by hitting on suppliers and here you can just come and put the supplier name and hit on submit so right now if we uh, attempt to buy uh, any given uh, medicine we should now be able to see the new uh, supplier appearing in the list now let's head on to sales and to be able to make a sale you have to first of all add a patient so i'll head on on top here and say add patient and here i'll add a patient the, the date of birth and the location and whether uh, the case is an emergency or not 
then after that I hit on submit I should be able to see the new patient added here and so I can now be able to come and attend the patient and here I'll just come and select the drug that the patient um, wants or that is prescribed to the patient then I hit on continue here I'll see the medicine name and whether there is an available dose for children or not and because it, it is not available then no will be selected by default so here I should put the quantity so let me just say one then issue medicine and here I should see the medicine that is issued to the specific uh, uh, patient as well as the invoice number of the patient and uh, the medicine issued so this is the patient name and this is the medicine name the quantity and the price in the total will appear down here I can just um, if I need I click on this button to prescribe more medicine otherwise I can just um, submit the medicine to add it to the database so medicine data inserted so say ok and then I continue now to get the receipt and here I will input the um, first of all I'll be able to see the total amount due and here I'll just input whatever the current of the patient will give me and I'll also be able to see the balance so just say save payment and I'll be able to see a receipt to that effect so if I need to print the receipt I can just come and hit on print this page and I'll have the receipt there so I can just come and hit on print the receipt heading back to the dashboard if I go to the expired I can see that there is one medicine that is expired and the status is confirmed so if there is any expired medicine it should be appearing here by default so the system will be able to detect any medicine that is expired and it will be appearing here and it is upon the pharmacist to come and confirm that for sure that uh, drug is um, expired by just hitting on confirm so here uh, you just come and put uh, the number of uh, expired uh, drugs and uh, the expiry date and then hit on delete so this will remove the drugs from the stock so in that effect if I head on to the expenses I should be able to see a list of all those um, expired medicine or drugs and the your worth on this other hand we have the list of damaged medicine and the total so uh, to be able to add a medicine in this list at the pharmacy stock there is and damaged so you can just come and hit on add damaged you're going to see the stock available and the number of drugs that are damaged or the quantity of the damaged uh, drugs and then you hit on update medicine so this will remove this quantity uh, from the stock and it will be added to expenses so update medicine stock and sample medicine name appears here worth 50 bob because it is just one and the total is added to this
so this and uh, this should also be subtracted from uh, the opening barangs of uh, the farmers as you can also notice uh, because we have already attended to uh, the sample patient the, pa the patient no longer appears here so this is just a list of the patients awaiting you also notice now, now that currently the transaction is one because we have already completed one transaction. The number of medicine is nine because we've added one sample medicine and also the sales have increased. So this is just a quick way of uh, topping up the pharmacy. So if I hit on this, I'll be taken to the list of all the available uh, drugs in the store. So I can be able to just update or stock the pharmacy shelves. If any medicine is almost out of stock, it will be appearing in this red background. And that means that you cannot be able to issue that medicine. So let's see what will happen if a person tries to issue any drug that is out of stock. So head on back to the dashboard. I pick one patient, hit attend. Then I try to issue, say, Brufen, which is out of stock. Come and say maybe three. Then issue medicine. So this tells me that failed. The medicine is out of stock. So I can just hit on this to go back. If I hit on the sales, I can be able to get a sales report based on specific dates. Say for instance, I want to see the transactions made today. I can just come and pick the date today and the, the last date. So just be today and then I hit on query. So here I should be able to see the medicine that has been sold today.